Hey, it's Paul with Wondershare Mobile Trans, and in today's video, we are going over some of the best solutions to fix your problems related to move to iOS when it's stuck at the one minute mark. And of course, this can be especially frustrating if you're trying to transfer your important data from your old Android device over to your new iPhone. So stay tuned because we got some great solutions coming up. And of course, if you like these kinds of videos and you want more helpful how to's, be sure to subscribe to our channel. And before we get into it, we also have a great 20% off sale going on for all our mobile trans tools. You can use the link in the description to learn more. And there are a couple of reasons why move to iOS might get stuck at one minute. And if you're in that boat, here are a couple solutions that you can follow along with. It's often overlooked, but the first solution actually involves putting your two phones closer together. So if this is your old Android phone, simply bring it closer to your new iPhone. It's very possible that your devices are too far away or something is interfering the connection between the two. And sometimes that can be enough to allow the data transfer process to resume properly. And so in this case, the quickest and easiest thing to troubleshoot is to bring your two phones closer together. For our next method, we're going to make sure that airplane mode is not enabled on our Android device. Sometimes when we encounter our iPhones getting stuck during the transfer process, it might not necessarily have to do with the iPhone, but instead the host device that's actually transferring the data, in this case, our old Android device. So to turn airplane mode off on your Android, let's follow these directions. On your Android, pull down from the top of your screen to access the menu. You'll see the option airplane or flight mode. Tap it to turn it off. And again, this is a very common issue that not a lot of people think about. For our next solution, we're gonna make sure that our Wi-Fi connection is set up properly. If you encounter move to iOS getting stuck on connecting, there's a good chance that your Wi-Fi connection is not set up correctly. So here's how we can check our Wi-Fi connections on both our Android and our iPhone device. For Android, open the settings and then click Wi-Fi. You'll see a list of your Wi-Fi connections and make sure that you're connected to the right one. If it's either not connected or it needs to be changed, select the correct Wi-Fi network. For iPhone, it's very similar. Click settings and then select Wi-Fi. And again, make sure you're connected to the right Wi-Fi network. For our fourth method, we're gonna make sure that both our Android and our iPhone are plugged into a reliable power source to make sure they're not discharging during the transfer process. Sometimes move to iOS can get stuck on one minute, and the solution is as simple as plugging in your phone. Next, if you've gone through all those troubleshooting methods, but move to iOS is still stuck, it's a good idea to restart both your iPhone and your Android as this can usually remedy many of the problems that you're experiencing. For most Androids, just press and hold the power button, and then you'll see the option to reboot or restart your device. If you have an iPhone 10 or later, you're gonna hold down your power and your volume down button at the same time until you see the option to slide off to power. And then after your device fully powers off, we'll turn it back on and retry the process. On the other hand, if you have an iPhone 8 or earlier, all you have to do is hold down the power button and you'll see that same screen. Now moving on, if restarting your devices still doesn't solve your problems, there's a chance that either one or both of your devices needs to be updated. So if move to iOS is still not working, we're gonna go ahead and check if either of our devices needs a system update. To check for updates for an Android, click on settings, and then you'll see an option for software update. If there are any available updates, you'll be prompted to download and install. To check for updates on our iPhone, click Settings, General, and then you'll see an option for software update. Again, you'll be prompted to download and install if there are any available updates. Now, hopefully one or a combination of those solutions helps you fix move to iOS being stuck. If not, we have another method that you can try. Now, unfortunately, even though move to iOS is a native tool, from Apple, it doesn't always mean it's the best choice. And as we experienced, it doesn't always work. In this case, there are better alternatives available for transferring your data from an Android to an iPhone. Our Wondershare mobile trans tool is one of the best and fastest ways for transferring data between the two phones and helps you overcome a lot of those issues that you often experience using the native tools either from Android or iPhone. Using the mobile trans desktop tool, you can transfer the data between the devices and create easy backups as well. And best of all, our tool is easy to use and it supports over 18 different types of files. So let's start by downloading and installing Mobile Trans on our desktop. Once that's done, open Mobile Trans and connect both your Android and your iPhone to your computer. 
We're gonna click on the phone transfer tab and then click phone to phone. And now because we're transferring data over from our old Android device, that's going to be the source. And then we're gonna select our iPhone as the destination as that's where we want our data to be transferred to. But if you find that the devices are backwards, you can just click the flip button and it'll put them on the correct side. Next, we can select the different types of data that we wanna transfer over and then click start to begin the transfer. Now, if on the other hand, you either don't have access to a desktop or you'd prefer to just transfer the data directly between your Android and your iPhone, we do have a mobile app to help you with this. Our mobile app works very similarly and it supports over 11 different file types. So here's how we can use our mobile trans phone transfer app. You'll begin by installing it on your Android device and then launch it. Select phone transfer from the options and then select your Android device as the old device. Next, you'll select the different types of data that you want to be transferred, then click send to begin transferring your data to your iOS. And as you've seen, these are some of the easiest and most reliable ways to transfer your data from your Android to your iPhone. But at the same time, you can also transfer your data from your iPhone to your Android or iPhone to iPhone, Android to Android. Mobile Trans really has you covered. And of course, if you've experienced any issues with Move to iOS being stuck and the earlier solutions that we shared didn't work, then you should definitely try out Mobile Trans. Let us know which solutions you tried and worked best for you in the comments down below. And if you're experiencing any issues, we can also help you there too. Again, be sure to subscribe to our channel and hit that bell for more awesome videos like this. This has been Paul with Wondershare Mobile Trans, and until the next one, we'll catch you later.